Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian with Ben C. On today's day, from Zedarim Kapalaf, number 21. The Gemara starts a new parak over here. The Gemara talks about how you're matar in a darim. There's two basic ways to be matar in a darim. One is through a Pesach, meaning, like the Gemara gives a couple examples over here. A person, when he makes a darim, is very angry. If there were 10 people that were there to placate you and not and to calm you down when you made the nether, would you make the nether? No, I definitely wouldn't though. So therefore, under those circumstances, you didn't tend to make, tend to make the nether, so therefore there's no nether. You're 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 to the nether. You untie the nether. Similarly, he asked the person, were you thinking? Were you thinking straight you made the nether? No, I wasn't thinking straight. Okay, no nether. Then there's something called harata, which is, means regret, literally, which the Masil Sharm talks about how harata actually matters the nether. It talks about in tshuva, how karata, how you can do tshuva over certain things, even killing a person. Karata means you really, really, really deep wish, deeply wish you never took the nether. Now, when you do karata, it's, the Gemara talks about whether the karata is effective or not. The Gemara first quotes one opinion and says, it ain't post going karata. You don't use karata. Um, and then there's another statement where the Gemara on the bottom of Chaval and Abay is, How does the Gemara say, I'm like, Kadot the hate, Kadot the hate, raining, do you regret? Do you regret what you did? Do you still feel the same way? Do you still want your net at the imports until now? Uh, yeah, article translated, Have you ever already, already have you already regretted ever having under your nether? And the man said, I'm really low, have I not? Of course I regretted making a nether. Ravasi released him from his nether. And therefore you see that there's a concept of the Harata. What's there in the Harata and a Pesach? So this is a very simple, simplistic explanation, but I think it's important to start off with simplicity and maybe we'll get into more detail and nuance as we talk more about Matar and Nether, Antares and Dharam. A Pesach just basically means that I didn't make the nether with the right knowledge or the right assumption. If right, if I knew certain things, I made the nether. I went to made the nether. So that you go to the, a base in a kacham, and they explain to you right. If there were ten people to placate you at that time, or right, you had certain knowledge at that point. So it's like really the, the <clears throat> it's like really the the nedarim that the the, the parak talks about the four nedarim hitiru kachamim. They're matir chacham. The Gemara is clear. It doesn't mean you don't even have to go to a rabbi to be matir your nether or a basin to be matir your nether. Chacham said, in those cases, it's an automatic pesach. Pesach works. There was a never, never nether in the first place. In order to have a nether, you not only have to say the words of a nether, but also you have to have the intention. Otherwise, it's something called piv v'livo shavin. Your mouth and your heart are not equal. Meaning, your heart doesn't want to make the nether, but your mouth does. So sometimes, even though you think you want to make the nether, but had you realized that's what the, you come from the basin, and they point out. Had you realized something else, you wouldn't have made the nether. So therefore, they reveal. It's a revelation. It's a bureau. It's a revelation that you didn't want to make a nether in the first place. So therefore, the nether even never started. It was like you never even made a nether. That's really, right? The Chum said in the Mishnah, there's four nedarim that always you could assume that. And if it's not one of these four nedarim, if you go to a basin, they could explain to you that under certain circumstances, you wouldn't have made the nether. So they're basically matter the nether, untying the nether, like you never made a nether in the first place. The way Harata works is obviously a very different way. Harata means you regret it now. I mean, obviously, when you took the nether, you <clears throat> wanted to take the nether, and you had all the knowledge you right, you needed. You weren't missing any knowledge. You weren't in a state of anger. Um, you really intended to make the nether. But now, after you see how terrible the effects of the nether are, right, that your children can't benefit from your possessions or things like that, so you regret making the nether. Now I regret. Now it's Mikan al I regret. So... Even though there's a machlokas in the Gemara, whether post and mecharata or not post and mecharata, um, it's clear from the Gemara that harata, um, according to one opinion, the Gemara has an example on Chaval and Abiz, where the person says, I regretted it, I, know, I regretted making the net there, and therefore, it's not exactly matir nadarim, it's more like hafaris nadarim. Hafaris nadarim is like a husband can block the nadarim of his wife or his daughter, um, which is really mikan al haba. Right, you're not untying the nether, you're blocking the nether. So the nether took effect up until he blocked it, or up until he mastered it with karata. Now I have regrets, therefore, regret somehow undoes the nether or it blocks the nether. Right, if I regret making the nether, so I'll have to explain this more. But a simple explanation of how karata 
stops a nether. Nether basically means I don't want to get enjoy a piece of meat, a loaf of bread. I don't want my children to get benefit from my possessions. How does karata stop the nether? So the simple explanation is that um, well, there's two explanations really. And I think this is really clear from the Gemara here, where it's very funny that there's two statements of a Ravasi, right? I'm a Ravasi, and toward the top of Allah Bez, uh, I'm a Ravasi, 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 i am a ravasi 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 i am so he relies on Kharata. That's the one example of Kharata, and it's the same Ravasi. Now, the article says there's two Ravasis. There's Revasi and Ravasi, the two different people. But I'd like to say not that way. And I'd like to be a diag in Lashon where it says <coughs> Ravasi originally said, Ain Poskan Bicharata, meaning there's two different ways um, of Kharata to work. Kharata to work. Meaning, meaning, Ravasi is not saying Harata doesn't work in both from Harata. Meaning, you can't make a Pesach out of Harata to say that if I knew now that I would regret making this nether, I never would have made the nether. That doesn't work. That that type of uh, annulment of your nether through Harata, a mock your nether through Harata, doesn't work. To regret, to, to use regret as a Pesach doesn't work. That's what he meant to say. Use regret as a Pesach. A regret, of, a regret that I regret now can't be used as a Pesach to say what was before because I only regret it now. I didn't regret it originally. However, Harata, Ravasi shows, does work at the end of the dap. It works, but it works in a different way. It works in a different way that it annuls the nether from now on. How does it, work? How does it annul the nether? Because a nether is something which every second is miskadesh, right? Because a nether is ha on a chefsa. So there's actually a kiyum. A nether remains in a force, right? A shvua took place 10 years ago and I took the shvua. Shua, I'm never going to eat another Laffy Taffy again. It's like a Shua, so it, it was an utterance that I made 10 years ago. And if you want to matter the nether, you have to matter that divor that happened many years ago. As opposed to a nether, which is Chal on the it's actually on, on a physical object. So the nether remains in effect every second. It's Mishadish. It remains in effect every second. So therefore, once I show that I have a deep rut zone, a deep will, that I don't want this nether, I regret making this nether. So therefore, it pulls away, somehow, it pulls away the force of that nether from the chefsa, because the chefsa is still there. It's in Shadish, the kiyum of the nether happens every second. So once I show, right, the nether is like, I'm constantly willing this thing to be ushers in me. So once I remove that will, I show that I really regret it. So therefore, it's batel the nether from the chefetz, and that's the why by Nidarim, you can have karata work to annul the nether, mikan laba. I think that's the correct explanation. We'll talk more about this going forward. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.